I mean, most of you who do good, you leave the room. Me? You're a liar. I can grab another beer. And smoking and hoping and liking it. Well, the chicken's cooking, the beans are heated up, the rice is steaming. We got about another 10 minutes to go, so.
doesn't have to be a stripper. She knows how to spell. What? She doesn't have to be a stripper. She knows how to spell. <laughs> Anybody watch a lot of videos? Mm-hmm. Hey, you get a colander. This little thing with all the holes in it is called a colander. They didn't even know what the fuck that was called like two years ago, huh? It's called a colander. Huh? Oh, okay. I never leave my kids when I'm cooking. It's not leave them high. You're welcome. Okay, what you want to do? <laughs> Take your chicken and bring it out. Alright? The best way to do it is to let the chicken cool for like 10-15 minutes before you run water over it. Because you gotta shred it. The sounds of it. You get your much on the bum, bum, bum. Just got my keys and we don't give a fuck. DLJ is always on the phone, but they call her toxic. I call her DLJ because you know that little juggle. <laughs> okay, what we're gonna have to do next is we're gonna take. Excuse me. We're gonna have to get the chicken and take the skin off the chicken and then shred the chicken. But if you wanna wait for these 10 15 minutes to let the chicken cool off. And if you guys don't wanna do none of these things, you have to do get the fucking fork and shred the motherfucker. That's all you gotta do. But I don't like to shred that hot. So I, I give her a chance to cool off a little bit. Then he's a bitch. Then you guys have to talk about that like this all the time. But like I said, it takes a man to be there for your kids. I'm not telling you to be like me. I got my kids living with you. All three of them. And they all stay. But what I am telling you is don't be a little bitch. You brought them into this world, help take care of them.